Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Last Project channel. Yes, <laughs> let's go. So today, hey, this lid is open. See, always check your car. Must have been when they're cleaning. Mm hmm. Okie dokie. Um. What is that? Oh, this starts with the service of the VW Caddy. Yes. So um, we're first going to take out the air filter, KN, because we got to clean it up. Then we're going to do drain the oil, okay, underneath. Uh, and then we're going to change the oil filter when we're um, ready to close the drain plug. And we're going to do the fuel filter, that's here. So the oil filter is underneath the drain plug as well, of course. And we'll start with the air filter and have to see if there's actually washer fluid. I still don't know why it was open. That's why, see? Got to make sure it clicks well. Okay, so, got to take this out. Maybe I'll just like do the whole screen camera right now okay so it's easy on the caddy you just unscrew all these screws around the air filter housing Okay, so there's our filter, quite simple, got my finger in front of it, just holding the cover, <laughs> and just remove the filter out, okay, just like an original one, there you go, okay, it's actually very good quality, Volkswagen, that's for sure, the plastics, everything, okay. Let's see how dirty this one is. Actually, it doesn't look that dirty. Haven't been through like dirty roads, you know. Mainly doing highways, cities. Not bad. When the roads here were under construction, then it was bad. Okay, so next step is put the Clean the filter with this air filter cleaner from KN. It's a kit, it comes with the cleaner and the lubrificants for the filter, okay? So now we're gonna use this. Okay, so normally I like to clean the floor, okay? And then I just put the filter on the towels because these towels are at the front. Down. Just spray, spray, spray. So this is going to solve all the fat and the dirt on the filter. It has like a fart sound. <laughs> That's weird. Stop spray bottles nowadays. Don't work like they used to. Quality is becoming very bad. Everything, you know. For soap, for this, for that. Cleaning sprays. There you go. So you just spread it around, all around. Make sure it gets in there, you know. So just got to flip it. Got a bit more on this side. Wasn't coming out very well. Now the spray is working better. <laughs> it's so noisy. Serious. It's going to be a weird video sound. Just put it on a piece of cardboard, lying down so that so the detergents can go in on a horizontal way. Okay, dokie. So now we're just going to take the cover off. Okay, dokie. So we take this cable out of this plastic strap here, out of this strap over here as well, 
And now we cut this table kai. Take this plug out. Right here. Okay, because we've got to remove the cap of the oil filter. And uh, remove now here the draining plug. Hmm, helicopter. Fires are starting. So, dyno wrenches, okay. Newton meter wrenches. Let's make sure everything is chalked up. There you go. Fires. That's a big fire. They got to do their best to keep it away, you know, because we have a lot of forest around us. So this is a new bucket, because this one you can put the, the oil easier, you know, it's got like a little dripping point over there. Um, I don't know what the spike is for, it must be, it must be like to put some, the, maybe, oh the oil filter, yeah, you can just stand the oil filter here, that's cool, drips the oil with the oil filter. So yes, improved oil buckets. Upgrade. Okay, put a new washer, hydraulic washer, because I don't like to use the ones that come with the oil filters. I like to use the ones that is steel and rubber gaskets in the middle. Um, and that's it. Now we'll let this drain. Okie dokie. So now we got new wash on the drain plug. And put the Newton meter torque wrench 430 Newton meters. Okay. I'll we'll just take a cloth, clean up the rest of the oil. We always do our oil changes before the time, so it's always good for the car. Okay, so we just put the uh, the bolt in because it's still dripping a little bit just to stop the oil from dripping I'm just going to take the oil filter out quickly okay Just put the cable zip tie here. This is removable cable zip tie, it's cool. You never have to cut it, you just press this little um, spring here and you can always reuse it, so it's cool. Um, take this out. Okay. Okay, so 32 mil for the oil filter cap and 19 millimeter for the oil drain plug okay let it loosen a little bit and there we go I don't really like these plastic oil filter covers. I feel when it's the Let me see. the oil the oil filter is the whole um, structure, you know, of the oil filter, the metallic ones. Because these ones with the plastic housing, it's too messy, and then you got to always put a an O-ring and wash the cap. I mean, it's just more and more work.
Now I gotta let this drop a bit because it's quite full of oil. It always is. Very messy. And I always love it when the oil filters are like on the top of the engine. It's much easier, you know. See all that oil coming out. The job. Just use my hand to make like a waterfall, oil full. <laughs> First oil. This one is actually quite cool because it's very deep. It's smaller, but it's very deep. Okay. So I guess that's that's that. Okay, now that's already loose. And now we just got to yank it a little bit out. There you go. It's paper filters. They're on paper, they're plastic. They look like paper filters. Okay, and there you go. Okay, so we let that drain. I'm going to clean that right there. Then we'll use a spray to clean all the residues of the oil. Uh, torque wrench the oil plug. I'll continue. Okay, so got the new oil filter. See, that's why I like man filter. It's even got like an O-ring gasket inside here. Normally it's like the paper that just uh, tears up and becomes the ceiling. But this one comes really with an O-ring. Ready you lubed up this o-ring, lubed up this one with using the new oil and now I'm just going to place it in in place so normally I like to like test it out always to make sure that it goes inside well yeah see clicks it's good Okay, of course the first time I see an o-ring in these filters, just wanted to make sure. So now I can click it here and just insert it in. Okay, and we're good to go. Just tighten it up. Okay, it's even got the Newton meter torques on the casing. It's 30... 25 25 25.5 <clears throat> newton meters then it's got a tolerance yeah yeah of 5.2 so 25 newton meters with a tolerance of 5.2 so really got it a little bit tight and i'm just going to put this to 25 Okay, okay, there we go. Like <coughs> and need a converter, <laughs> need an adapter. There's an adapter there on the table. Okay, there you go. It's a 25.5, right? Yeah. Okay. Give the 05 you now. There you go. Okay. Good yo. That's done. So clean all the residue. And catch it here. Okay, maybe we just want to get away a little bit. So 
don't get fake oil dirt on the floor. Now get a cloth. Okay. Now just put all this in place again. <coughs> Just put the cable back in this support. Now we put it back in this support as well. Everything is plastic. So quite easy to just like remove. You don't have to remove the whole clip. Okay, it's all quick adapters. Make sure the plug doesn't have oil. So I sprayed it up a bit. Make sure. Okay. And just put it in place, put the clip back on, and now just put a zip tie, reusable zip tie. I'm trying to do it well with one hand. Now we just cut the <clears throat> zip tie, cut it right like more or less there. Okay, just hold it, so it's pulling the oil. Okay. Now we push this towards the draining plug, again, take the drain plug out, because there's always going to be a little bit of oil in here now. <clears throat> Don't have to clean the drain plug anymore, so we're all ready to go. Yep, still had some oil there. You better let it and now we're going to put the drain plug down here. Where? Just uh, like that. Uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, dokie. So, from bottom to top, look at all this dirt that's going to come out. Even got feathers in there. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of dirt there. Eh? Okay. Okay, now we can go on the other side and just wash it away. Pretty dirty water. There's a lot of pollution in the air. So after you do the first rinse, then you just do a make do an extra rinse. Okay. So we just go again. Have one hand trying to do it all, like always. There we go. Get it in there. Make sure it's all nice and clean. See, now it's a color gray. I can see the gray or the filter. It's all black from the dirt, you know. Now it's turned into a gray color. It is quite a very like a dark grey, you know? You can see the difference from this black silicone colour to the greyish filter colour. Now we just let it dry up. Okay, just let it naturally dry. That's why I always do this when it's the late afternoon, the sun is very weak. You can't put it in the strong hot sun. Okay, because it would be just bad for the filter. If you want it to last more, you know. Okie dokie. This will dry very quick. Because uh, the air is hot today. Okay, so now we remove the fuel filter. While we letting the oil drain. Until it's stopped dropping. And here we also got the Newton meters. Yeah, it's... 5 plus 1 minus 1, so 5 newton meter with these tiny, I think the M5 screws or M4. I'll see just now. Okay. Now get this one out because I need it longer. Okay. I don't think it's gonna fall because it's magnetic. Yep. There you go. That's M5, hey? Yes. Okay, now normally this is like a mess. Um, so it's got like a special gasket seal. 
There you go. I knew it would be a mess. It is always a mess. Okay, so now we got to drain out a bit of this fuel. Uh, when Only when we put a new filter, like when I take this one out now, it will be okay. But when I put back in the other one, we're going to have to drain it out or else it's going to overfill. Because it takes time to suck in the fuel, you know, the filter, so. Okay. Quite a messy job, but the diesel dries off, so. Not a problem. It's like uh, cleaning it with petrol, you know. Like the cleaning one. I mean, it's like real petrol, like the one we're using the cars. 95 or 98 octanes, that's what we get here. Then it dries really quick. Diesel takes a bit longer, but it will all dry up. It's so soaked. You can see the filter has dark shadow marks. I'll show you just now. That's why it's important to change the fuel filter as well. We almost change it in every maintenance we do. <laughs> So, it's not that expensive, I mean, it costs 15 bucks. Man filter, you get much cheaper ones, of course. Check out the difference, everyone. Now, we don't use, like, bad diesels where, where we got to fill up our tanks. Normally, that's, like, known um, companies and makes of diesel. And this only has 20,000 kilometers. Look at this. Remember, this on the right hand side is exactly the same filter as the left. So when I put the one on the right hand side, it was like the left. Man filter, the same model, everything. Okay. And look at the difference. That's why I change it every maintenance I do, you see. It's just so much difference. <laughs> so, yes. It's always good to do it. Okay, okay, so we've got a manual pump here. It's actually a brand new one, so I'll use this one. Because it's diesel, then this will just like um, dry up. So I'll just put this in there. And now I'll get something just to remove the... So you just pump it like that and the diesel comes out. So let me just... Then you can reuse the diesel. I'm going to pump out, I'm going to use, use it to clean parts, you know, of machines, everything, so, it's a win-win situation. See, just pump it out manual. There you go. And I use it to clean stuff that are very dirty, oily. Nothing goes to waste. It's uh, empty enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without making a big mess. It's not easy, eh? When you try to form this type of content. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Now, I just insert the filter inside. You can just drop it in because now it's empty. So it's quite easy. To not make a bigger mess. Okay, nothing else is required. Just pop it into place. And there you go. Okay. Um, regulated. For the five, it says five, hey? Five. Yes. So you have to have a torque wrench for smaller screws bigger screws everything <laughs> okay there you go lock it in place lock and load probably just a big one okie dokie let's make sure it's on the tight mode i think it is yep there you go. Yeah, 
and one more. Okay, so you can torque it up, just do one screw, then I'll go to the bottom and tighten up the drain plug. It's on five. Yeah, it's ready on five. Okay. You can go. Okay, always do it like in a cross, like everything. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to tighten up the drain plug over here. I need to get some new ramps so I can lift the whole car, you know, in one go. That should be cool. We actually found some ramps, it costs used 500 bucks, but they you drive, it's like huge ramps, because we got a forklift, you can actually have ramps that go all the length of the car, you know. And you can just put the whole car on top of the ramps, so. There's a guy selling it, and we might probably buy it. So I think it will be, help us a lot, so that we could go with the little, like, go-kart, you know. Lying down on the back and just go from one side to the other. I think it will be much easier, you know. Here we go. We can finally tighten the drain plug. So we already have a new washer on this. We already cleaned it up. We just used it to block the oil coming out while we're doing the oil filter. And now we can finally really tighten it up, torque it up. So from what I saw it was 30, hey? Yeah. Okay. And now, this is number 19, we'll just tighten it up with this one first. Up the way around. Okay. Just take this out of the place. And now, take the socket. Yep. Okay. Good to go. Okay. So that is all done. Just make sure. Just gonna put a little bit more. Okay. That is that. Okay, now just put the cover on and um, that's our maintenance done on the caddy so it's the air filter just the air filter which is drying up and that's it gonna change with this triangle emergency triangle in the jeep because this one was always sliding away and you know what's cool yeah. is that this one is citroen <laughs> yeah. that only now we noticed hey that's the Citroen triangle, eh? This came from the, the other From the Berlingo. Yes. Berlingo. So that's actually Citroen cool. Berlingo. Now it's like real Citroen. So I'm going to put this one in the Jeep. We just have, have your triangles, you know. And I want to see the... Oh, I can't let this hit the Raptor, no ways. Why is this copper out of the way? Mm. Someone locked the copper down. You know what's... Just open up the window and hold it with my foot like that. Okay. And but this is much more narrow. And just put this one in here. Oh, switch on the lights here. There you go. Okay. See, it just fits right at the back here much better. Get some more light in here. Ugh. Okay, there you go. Just fits it right here. 
next to the emergency vest which you have to have by law always obey authorities police and everything and the law because it is good there you go now just switch this off switch that off and that's it okay now it's quite high eh the new wheels <laughs> Beautiful Mazda. Okay. Once work. So we have to no. get a, a bigger, a, a higher rubber for here and just test it out, no? No, this one seems to be a bit thicker. I think if we put the Maybe one there. This better. We should try this one. I we'll think so. I could have gotten a higher one. I think it's too yeah, squashed, it's too old. This one looks a bit higher. Yeah, we can take it out from here. There you this go. This looks a bit higher. Test it out here. This one, see, it looks a bit bigger. It looks a bit bigger, I see. Oh, uh, like this more. one's a bit cramped already, okay. So, so we can use the new one? We could try the new one, see. So this is just a matter of taking it out, eh? Yeah. It's an so easy swap, okay. Swap. So we'll swap this one for that one, then I'll get a higher one. Yeah. For future. Yeah. I'm going to see the measurements of this one. There's a higher one. I'll yeah. get a higher one. But for now, we'll take out the old one and put that one. We'll do it. I have to make sure, you know, that everything is going to work because then you have to give it back. I have 200 days with Autodoc. You have 200 days with Autodoc to um, give stuff back. If, if you like it didn't work or didn't fit or you didn't end up using it, so it's quite cool. So you see that rubber mm. of the scoop? That's the straight one, hey? Yeah, that's the straight that one. That one's all squished, though. That eh? one's all bugger, that one. So it that one will fit, right? That will fit properly. Yeah. Yes, it's that a thin. Really okay, this one, we'll take yeah. this one out tomorrow. That one will do. And we'll put a new do. one in. That one will do. Because we need that to be... Sealed. Sealed. Right, so we're getting the engine uh, smells. <laughs> eh? Hey? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave that like that. I still haven't got these pots. I'm still waiting for them, okay, because uh, I have to paint, not this one, I have to get a new one of this one. I already ordered it, I'm just waiting it to come. So I can then fix this, the other grill that I'm going to change for this one. I don't like this one, the bender, this is plastic, the other one's fiberglass, I have to repair it. This is already fiberglass, and this is plastic. And I'm waiting for a new one like this, but then I have to paint the three, okay, with the same paint. Just put the triangle in the Citroen sack. So I like to show you guys everything that I say I'm gonna do. I do it, you know. <laughs> put this one. Put this one. Let's put it this way. If it fits. If it fits. Yeah, yeah put it like. Work. Yes. There you go. Now that's cool. Citroen triangle. That wasn't planned. It just yeah, happened just by coincidence. <laughs> that's cool. Can't fit under the carpet. Eh? Uh. We have a lot of padding here. Let's fit under the coffers. No, it doesn't have the, the spare tires underneath the car on this one. So we have to put it there. Okay. Let's close this up. Yes. The symbols are um, always beautiful. The, this paint, epoxy paint. That we use is excellent. I tried another one, a new paint uh, on these covers, uh, so it gives like an orange peel texture to the paint. It gives like an orange peel texture. Let me see if I can show you better. Can you see the texture? There you go. Now I've never used paint like that, and I just think that it's amazing for machines. It just takes all those defaults out, you know, scratches and everything, so. But it's the same hardness as that other paint that we use for the symbols. This epoxy that mixes with the hardener is amazing. So, we got these covers painted. They're done. We got the safety guards painted in yellow. We got the arches for the rotary table. And we got the generator, Ursa painted with this 
beautiful blue like pearl that's a quite nice you can't really see it let me see uh, there you go sorry quite beautiful color with the hammer gray paints on this machine mm -mm. looking beautiful so we had to do some modifications here um, then I'll show you guys in more details it's not like a car that I can go like step by step and you guys will understand it <laughs> so I have to like resume it a bit mount it up a bit and then explain to you guys how it works you know it's a lot of electronical uh, equipment electrical i mean there's a lot going on so hydraulic um knowledge pneumatic electrical electronical um maths physics you know it's a whole lot in one area <laughs> so yes um then I'll show you guys in the end, okay, how everything stays. So I cleaned it up all inside. It's already all painted up and got some new wheels on it. Had to adapt them. And once I like get it a bit mounted up, you know, assembled, then I'll show you guys how, it's, how it works. I think you guys will enjoy it if you're into this type of stuff. If you aren't, just tell me and I'll stop doing the videos of the machines and just keep on going, you know. Or just mix it all up. <laughs> also going to put some washer fluid. One screen washer fluid inside. Wow. This lid is really like annoying. Okay. I'm going to put the rest of this bottle inside. Well, just because I'm going to use the bottle then to put the oil all the oil in because I don't believe it's going to take all the five liters so I'm going to need the oil bottle it's going to be like one liter left and uh, I'll just put the old oil in here that's what I normally do to then recycle it properly recycle it go to the recycling center and give it in old oils I'll probably ask them then if I can video that one day. Normally they don't like it to go into the infrastructures, you know, and it's a big company, so probably this won't happen. <laughs> okay, dokie. So you see, use cardboard and the floor doesn't get dirty. So really got the old oil away. Really cleaned up all the tools. And now Brake fluid is very good to clean all the tools. <laughs> you put all the oil in here, so this gets like two. This will take three liters, and like that, it's just easier to pour into the engine, you know, with this long probe here. And you cover it up with the top cover, and no dust goes inside because you can also cover up this part, you see. So. Whatever oil remains, the bottle will always be clean inside, you know. You can always use it for any car. Let's cover it up and open this up then. Okay, then you just open here. Okay, that? There's like a... There you go. And that's it. It's much easier. You don't have to hold all the weight of the bottle. Yeah, just hold that little cover. Yes. Also got this. Um, you have a long way to go, so you can really just put it inside. You can actually put it inside if you want, but you can go elephant style. <laughs> also, I like to use this cover. So it's even got like a magnet. It's all covered with TNT textile. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yes, to protect the paint and everything. And you also don't get dirty, you know, because I didn't even wear put my work clothes today, it's only shoes. And I didn't get dirty. So I could go out after this, you know. <laughs> Just much easier like this. So this is a good thing. Good purchase. 
and uh, I have to go take the rubbish now. Just going to tidy up the rest of the tools. So I'm letting this dry. So I've really what clean this. Uh, that's also drying. Got to recycle the garbage. Put the tools away. Um, and this oil take to recycling. And what else? Oh, so cleaned up. All dried up as well. So this I put in the garage. So it doesn't gain dust. This is just for cars. And that's it, guys. And that's how you do the service on a car. The proper way. Okay, so let's go spray the filter. It's already dried. So just use a cardboard and uh, spray away. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay. Now we just spray evenly, shake it around, and just spray it evenly, like that. Don't have to go crazy. Okay. Just gotta make sure you get the whole thing. There you go. Let the fumes get away, but. Okay, so we just let it soak up a bit and then we turn around and spray on the other side. And that's it everyone. Actually, I only have K and filters, only on the Saxo. I have a pipe across, but I'm using this spray and it's been working excellent. Okay, now a bit on this side here. You stop right at the end so that you don't waste, you know, just like painting a, a part of a car or whatever. I also like to put on the sides, just like conserves better the silicone. And there you go. Now let it dry a bit and in the car. Yuppie, our first jam squash. So this is uh, like a small pumpkin and I'll show you how you eat this, I'll show you guys. There's our melon, which we're also going to take out now. So, we didn't know, but we ended up getting miniature vegetables. We didn't know. So, that's what we have here. Miniature vegetables. They're cute. And it was kind of a surprise, you know. I didn't even know that they would sell miniature vegetables. Like, where we normally buy the vegetables. That's why we thought it was strange. They wouldn't grow too much. <laughs> Look at that. I got egg. Oh, you got one wow. That's a big one. Eggplants. Uh, beans. We go, we're going to buy more vegetables now. We're going to buy because we can still plant this week. Yeah, you got beans here. Yeah. Yeah, one. Got this here. Okay, so we're going to have to buy more vegetables and keep on planting. Okay, so here we go. It's all ready. So after it dries, you just put the air filter back inside. There you go. Also, always make sure that the lid inside here is clean. Okay. Because that's where your engine yes. intake is going to go. Okay. Now we just tighten all the screws back in place. And basically that's it. Okay. Okay, so that is all done. And now just switch on the key like without turning on the engine. Just like some five times so that the pump brings all the fuel into the filter and everything. I heard it just now. Okay, switch off. Yeah, now you... There you go, you can hear. See, you can hear it too. It's good, it's good. Let it warm up. Wait, let it warm up a little bit. Huh? No, no, there's no blocks on the wheel. Just wait a little bit. Okay, leave it there. Now we let it warm up. Uh, I need to take all this to the rubbish. 
and uh, see the level of the oil again. Uh, all the service is done. Now to do the inspection service reset, um, you put your hazard lights on, okay? You turn the key uh, while you press that button on the right there. Let me see if I can get some more lights here. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. That's better. <laughs> okay, so you press this button here while you turn the key. Just don't turn the key. With the hazard lights on and it says do you really want to reset the inspection and you go okay then to reset the oil service the one that's showing now okay what you do is you take your hazard lights out off you press on this button okay you switch off the key press on the button and while you're pressing on the button you just turn the key and then it says, do you want to right. reset the oil service? Okay. And uh, that's how you do it, see? So, quite easy. Very straightforward. And you just go, okay. Service reset. And good to go. I'm sorry for the lack of quality on the video on this part. <laughs> I have to use my both hands, you know. Um, and there you go all resets okay so then you go to your menu if you want to and uh, you'll see that it's all here you go there boom 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 the service see oil service next oil service 15,000 kilometers inspection 30,000 kilometers so it used to be um, like 20,000, 30,000, then went to 20,000, now it goes 15,000. So the older, the more kilometers the car has, it's like automatically uh, updating on the oil service. Okay, so that's it. And um, got to now take the rubbish. So switch on the car. And let's go. So you need to get some diesel in the system. Okay. Yes. Turn this off. Okay, okay. My dad's waiting in the forklift to put the forklifts in. Okay, so let me back up the van so I can get all the rubbish in the van. Take it out. Stay with the Headquarters is all clean. We're gonna take all the rubbish now and um, hope you guys enjoy this cool content. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. I know your of course subscribers are increasing fantastically. Uh, 236 subscribers, amazing. What a blessing. God bless you all. I thank you so much for all your support, guys. It's been, well, I can't go backwards. Get that light, eh? <laughs> for the video. Yes. That's cool. And um, God bless you all. Thank you so much for your support. It's been amazing and it's going to continue being amazing because I'm not going to stop. I'm going to mix it all up on the following videos. More content, different content, okay? Um, I also want to do like a road trip. Uh, which car do you guys think I should take for the road trip? I want to know that from you guys. Um, go check out... Uh, car museum which I think is cool for the car contents and get some food contents you know uh, I got a nice little tiny surprise for you guys tomorrow tomorrow I mean that will be the following video of this one okay <laughs> um, I think you guys will enjoy it and um, yes super motivated always stay positive everyone God bless you so much everyone okay and I pray for you all. Thank you so much. Okay. And see you on the next one. Out. <laughs>